Hey guys, I'm Eric. I'm Tim. Landa. We are DME Miniature and Board Games. So the other day we sat down, we tried out Raise Your Goblets. Raise Your Goblets. Now when we were at CMON Expo, this table was just off the chain. Everybody seemed to be having a blast playing it. It was loud. We couldn't even, we, we tried to get on it, we couldn't get on it. We, 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 did we fail? Yeah, we didn't really. Yeah. So, as normal, after we play it, we talk about what it was like and if we liked it or not. We score uh, five different categories. Graphics, artwork, rulebook, components, replayability, and fun. We score a one through five with three being average, five being excellent, and one being a st steaming pile of cow dung. I told you you couldn't keep it on your forehead through the whole video. <sighs> Tim, start out with graphics and artwork. Um, I liked the art that's in this because it reminded me of Potion Explosion, another Simon game. Um, I like the the style uh, that it, that it is and the colors and everything like that. I gave the uh, the graphics and artwork a five. Glenda, same here. Five, Simon five. Simon five. <laughs> See. Huh? I gave it a three. What? I, I just, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my... What's wrong with this? <laughs> I'm not testing you. I, well, listen, three is average. I just I just thought it was average for an average game. For a small game? Quick game. Uh, Glenda, rule book. Rule book. <laughs> Wow, I gave it a perfect score. I don't know about you, but I sat here. Again, it might be influenced because we already played it before. But it's pretty simple. Tim? Yeah. I thought it was a good rule book. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it really does tell you how to play a game. And with this being kind of a, a different, different uh, kind of type of game, um, you know, there, it's not really in-depth or anything like that. So... The rule book does really good. I gave it a four. Um, I had to concur. I, I went with four on the rule book. Uh, I have seen better. But for something you could sit down, read it real quick, and play, play this and understand it really easily, yeah, I gave it a four. I thought it was pretty well done. Oh, yeah. Uh, components. Um, I gave components a three. I, I, was, I was right there with you. On the three, um, but did you I, change your mind? No, uh, I wanted to give it a three. My my biggest drawback on this is your protective guards. The you know so nobody can see. They're not going to last very long. Well, not only that, but they're pointing down. <laughs> You oh, gotta, so uh, nobody can uh, see. Yeah, but yeah. you, you got to keep looking at it to see to see your uh, your skills and everything that you got. You know, so I didn't I didn't like that. I gave it a four. I I had a thing with the shields as well, the covers as well. Mine is though that it's a flimsy cardboard. Yeah. And I think that over time of bending it and unbending it to keep it in the box. Oh yeah. After gonna, a while, it's just gonna fall apart. It's gonna wear those things. Um. Out, yeah. The goblets are nice, but it's nothing stupendous. So, I mean, I just gave it a three. I just thought it was just average. Glenda? Um, you can always substitute your own goblets Correct. if you have them. I gave it a four. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong with you guys, but this is cute. This is a simple game. There's not much expected of this game. Now, it's not perfect, too, because all this... Um, what they call the poison and <laughs> I think well the red is the wine the, the black wine, is the poison, the poison the white is the antidote the antidote I mean all this stuff I mean I think um, it's cheap you know but again with all that together it's a four it's not perfect it's you know probably they could have done better but again for this simple game sit down game fun game it's a four Replayability. I gave her replayability a four. I would have gone with a three, but I felt that it, it has 21 playable characters. I think that it's got enough replayability to warrant a four just based on the fact you've got 21 characters you can play. What do you think, Linda? I gave it a four. 
I don't know. I didn't copy you, but I gave it a four. It's the same thing, you know? <laughs> Timmy Turner. I think replayability is a five on this. You, wow. you call, it, call a duck a duck. Um, it's not a miniature game. This is a this is a family game. True. This is something to play and have fun. And, and I think the replayability for, for a game like that is pretty damn high. So I gave it a five. So then what did you give it for fun? I gave fun a one. <laughs> no, I gave it a five. Glenda? I gave it a four. Hand in hand with the replayability, I gave it a four. It's not perfect five. It's fun for me. And I think after a while, you're going to like, eh, I don't want to play this again. <laughs> what are you laughing about? What? <laughs> he's obviously got, uh, he, he's, he must disagree. Yeah, well. I, I gave fun a three. I thought it was just average. Um, I had a good time playing it. Uh, but it's just average fun. I mean, it's. One of those ones that, yeah, you sit down, you you drop some gems in a cup and hope you don't poison <laughs> yourself and you try and poison somebody else. Um, I, the whole time I was playing, all I could think was Princess Bride. And with Tim yelling, it's inconceivable. The whole time we're playing, it just made sense. Not only that, <clears throat> but I kept saying, you think that I don't know, uh -huh. that you I know. know. <laughs> So, Maybe I mean, you think I, of this as a... I just gave it a three. I, no, I mean, it's average. Really? I, I had a good time. I just didn't rank it up there really high with some of the other ones that I've really enjoyed. I, I think you're a dick and I can't work with you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you think this is a, a, a children's <laughs> game. Well, it's, it's, Maybe that's it's, what it's he's a family thinking. Game. Listen, it's, it's a, a family, family game. game. I understand that. I. Three is average. It doesn't mean it's horrid. <laughs> What's that game basic. that we like? The card game that he likes since he was a kid. <laughs> oh God! Come on. So <laughs> I keep trying to say. Sorry. Rage, <laughs> so uh, overall score for Raise Your Goblets is a four point one. That's not bad. Actually, it's high. So you see, my my threes on it's it didn't affect. Negligible. <laughs> hey. But that's the thing. That's why we do a three-person review and we average the scores. Not everybody agrees the same right. way on games. And we don't talk about it. That's our score. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As always, guys, support your local gaming. We support who, Tim? Oh, uh, Jesus. They're paying us for this, too. Discover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Discover Games, Fayetteville, Georgia. As always, guys, game on. Game on, folks. Game on.